Are you ready for your close-up? Frankie J. You can get up. Frank's not actually allowed on the furniture, so he's very confused why I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you wanna turn around? Frank isn't gonna be very active during this video because he is so, so tired. We were at Cara's bar all day yesterday getting stuff set up. If you guys don't know, my girlfriend Cara is opening a mini golf bar here in LA. I brought Frank so he could play with Fred because we're trying to warm him up to each other. I'll explain more about that in a little bit. And they got on so well, it was so great, but they are both exhausted. And then they had a little sleepover after. If you guys don't already know, which I'm sure most of you do because I post about him nonstop, this is my little, well, not so little, angel boy Frank. He is a Connie Corso, which is an Italian Mastiff. I'm not sure if he's 100% that. I don't know, he has a little different characteristics, so he's probably mixed a little bit. He is about a year and a half. I don't know for sure since he was a rescue, but I really wanna do a video figuring out his star sign. So if that's something you guys wanna see, let me know. You are being so sleepy, babe. I adopted him in the beginning of December. I've just been in love since the moment I laid my eyes on him. Just to give you guys a quick overview of his adoption process, I had been involved with an organization called I Stand With My Pack. I will put all their info in the description box below if you guys wanna check them out. I did a few events with them and I was finally at a point in my life where I was ready to adopt a dog. I love dogs. I I'd been dying to have a dog, but I was traveling a little bit too much, so I just didn't think it was the right time. I'm gonna lower you guys a bit so you can see him. So I was finally at a point in my life where I was ready to get a little pup, and I did initially think I was gonna get a puppy. So I was keeping an eye out for the right dog that just seemed like the perfect fit, and Frank here was abandoned with his baby mama. They were both up for adoption along with all of their puppies. Now, I've always had larger dogs. I've had like pit bull mixes. They've all been mutts because every dog my family owned was a rescue. Adopt, don't shop. I saw the puppies and looked up what a Connie Corso was and what to expect with the size and everything. Basically saw pictures of other friends and was like, this is the dog for me. I've always had male dogs growing up. I'm used to their temperaments and I don't know, I just wanted a male dog. And all of the male puppies that he had went pretty quickly. I think there were only two female dogs left whenever I really started considering adopting. And then I saw a video of Frank with his foster family. It was the daughter of the family. It was just the cutest thing ever. He was being so sweet with her. I don't know, he reminded me so much of my old family dog, Bandit, who passed away. And I just fell in love after watching that video. So I went to go meet him. He was really timid and shy. It seemed like he had had some abuse with wherever he was before or maybe just being abandoned made him really scared so he was pretty timid but he warmed up to me and Cara came with me so quickly he was like sitting on our laps and wanting to play and it just felt right like the connection I don't know how to explain it but what I really like about I Stand With My Pack is that you can foster a dog with the idea that you want to adopt it just to see if it's the right fit for you and your family and your lifestyle I didn't do that because I mean we bought bonded so quickly, I just felt like we were meant to be, I don't know. I just, I'm so disgustingly obsessed with this boy. <laughs> He's so sleepy, he can't even keep his eyes open. I didn't have any intention to get an older dog, but it has been such a blessing in disguise. One, because he's everything to me, but also I didn't have to potty train him. I knew what his personality was like. There was no surprises of him growing up and then being unruly. I'm so, so glad I didn't get a puppy. And I think if you are looking to adopt, really consider getting a dog that is over a year or two old. Dogs are so smart and if you get the right breed for you, it's really easy to train them. I mean, Connie Corsos and Frank in particular, he just has a desire to please. Like, he really wants to be a good dog. So any behavioral issues that we did have or are having, he works so hard to be better. Like he just wants love and attention 24 seven and wants to be good. Are you good, bud? I don't have any other day to film this, so we're doing it now, but he is. Can you guys see his eyes? I'm gonna push this over a little bit. 
I'm so tired. We'll do this quick. It's okay. Am I sitting on your tail? Am I sitting on your tail? As for his story prior to me adopting him, I don't know anything for sure. It's all speculation and things that I've been told. I don't know a lot. All I know is he was abandoned with his girlfriend and she was pregnant. He also is obsessed with her. Oh my gosh, we had a play date. I wish I had footage to show you guys. I'll get some next time but they are just the sweetest thing playing together. But he does have a little scar right under his eye. Well, I don't know if it's a scar, it's just his fur is gray. There's like these two lines. Everyone always asks me like, oh, did he get hurt? Did he get scratched? I don't know what they're from. I was told that they're markings that a taser would leave on a dog. I think because when he gets tased, the hair follicles get messed up, so it ruins the pigment in the fur. Again, I don't know if that's true, and I. I don't want to think about anyone tasing this sweet boy. So I'm just gonna pretend he was born with it. I don't know, he looks pretty badass though, so, so. And then on his side, I think it's your other side, right? Yeah, on his side, he has some gnarly scars. It kind of looks like he maybe jumped a fence or something and got caught, which makes me sick to think about. But it, they don't seem to bother him. I can rub them and he doesn't care. Like he will let you, like he has these big flaps with his face and they're so fun to play with. He just doesn't care. He is so chill. He's definitely not any older than a year and a half, but sometimes he seems like he's 80. What's up? Hmm? You want to hold hands? I love you. An overall day with Mr. Franklin consists of my alarm going off and him immediately being like, mom, let's go, let's get up. Let's play. You need to walk me so you can feed me. He is very food motivated, aren't we all? He loves cuddles, as you can tell. <laughs> he just wants to be like held all the time. I swear he is a human, it kind of freaks me out. So after he wakes me up, he's not allowed on the bed, but in the morning he'll like put one paw up or his front paws up and be like, come on girl, let's go. We go on our little walk. Okay, Frank, let's move over here now, so. <laughs> we go on our walk. He's a really wonderful dog, and he's so good with people. He's really warmed up to people. He's not really timid around them anymore, but he is very nervous around other dogs. He's leaning so bad. You're just chilling. Yeah, you comfy? He gets really, really nervous around other dogs. I think it gives him some mad anxiety, but unfortunately, I think his best defense is an offense because of his size, so he will like bark and lunge at dogs. So we're training, we're working on that, which is why Cara and I took it so slow to have him and Fred together. We would just go on walks and get them acclimated to each other so they knew each other's scent and they knew nothing bad happened when they were together. And actually last night we went to the bar and I was gonna take Fred home and then go get Frank because Frank had been alone for a few hours and I wanted to get him out. And we decided it was finally the time to kind of let them run around. It's just hard in my apartment, it's too small and I don't want to take them to a dog park because he's nervous about other dogs. So it was so nice to go to the bar and have room for them to kind of run around. And they got on so, so well. They're like the best of friends. It was so relieving. I wanted to cry, I was so happy because I was just worried that he wasn't gonna get along with other dogs. I think he just takes a minute to warm up and trust which I get it, same dude. But then Fred actually ended up sleeping over here and it was perfect. I just had two beds in my bedroom and they slept on their own beds and they were so fine. They woke us up together, it was great. So I'm so relieved. So walks can be a little bit stressful because we have to avoid other dogs, but we're working on it. He's getting so, so much better with it. You look like you took a Xanax or something. You're like really sleepy, dude. <laughs> He's just not used to so much physical activity. They were running around for hours. After we go on our walk, we come inside and it's feeding time, which makes a lot of noises. <laughs> feeding time is interesting. He, as you can see, doesn't slobber just throughout the day, but as soon as there's food in front of him, it is like waterfalls just dripping down his face. Oh, did that offend you? He doesn't really understand how large his body is, so sometimes he struggles to get comfy. <laughs> I've resorted to making him go on his bed, so as soon as we get inside or he knows it's feeding time, 
he runs to his bed and lays down really quickly. It's so silly. He just like throws his body around and then he just stays there while I prepare his food and put it down and then make him wait as it's like dripping. And luckily we contain it to the bed. So then I just have to clean up his bed and not Swiffer my entire floors every time I give him a treat or breakfast or dinner. And then he eats his food so quickly. And with bigger dogs, you have to worry about bloating. So you shouldn't have them do any extreme activity right after eating. And you should try to get them to eat slowly. So instead of using a regular bowl, I have this bowl that sort of looks like a maze. And this has really, really helped him not scarf down his food. So rather Rather than him eating it in 30 seconds, it takes about two and a half minutes. Surprisingly, even though he has a really short coat, he sheds like crazy. I have to brush him a lot, but he loves, loves getting baths, brushed, anything. He really enjoys it. He's a pamper prince. Like your mama. So yeah, he hasn't been allowed up on the bed for a while. We stopped, oh well, I stopped allowing him on couch. I know Jack lets him. I see it in his Instagram stories, which is fine. I think he's like, okay, Uncle Jack's the cool uncle. I get to do whatever I want with him. Yeah, yeah. He has two beds, cause I'm a crazy dog mom. One in our living room and one in the bedroom. So he just sleeps at the foot of my bed on his bed. Or sometimes, very, very rarely, He'll just want to sleep on his bed out in the living room. It's happened like two or three times. He just likes to be close and cuddled. And it sucks that I can't let him sleep in bed with me because he is the greatest cuddler. He actually likes being the little spoon. <laughs> it's so silly. He'll roll over and like wiggle back into me and like keep going like this with his snout to my hand until I wrap my hand around him and rub his belly. You're so needy. He likes to sit on my lap. He likes to constantly be pet. He loves when I rub right above his eyes. It like puts him to sleep within 15 seconds. I wish you would show them. Why are you facing me? He's like, cause no one's there, mom. You're talking to yourself. It's really freaking weird. He's not normally this chill, but he is extremely chill. Like I mentioned, he'll have like 10, 15 minutes it's spurts of energy where he just like runs around and plays and throws his rope or his calm. And other than that, he just wants to cuddle and sleep and chill. So that's a basic overview of Mr. Franklin. You will definitely be seeing lots and lots and lots more of him. So if you don't like dogs or don't like Frank, you might as well unsubscribe because woo, I am obsessed with him. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know Frank a little bit more. We love you guys so much and I will see you next week. Say bye. Mm -hmm.